Opposition leader Peter Dutton has revealed his front bench with 10 women in the Cabinet of 24. Mr Dutton confirmed Susan Lee, who was appointed as the Liberal Deputy Leader last week, would also be the opposition spokeswoman for skills and industry. Susan Lee joins me now live. Thank you for your time this morning. So 10 women in Cabinet, what message does the party hope to send through these appointments? that we're continuing to listen to the issues that matter to Australian women and that our shadow cabinet reflects the diversity of the community. But individually, these women and also the men, in fact, the entire makeup of the shadow cabinet is very strong. It's very committed. It matches experience with emerging talent. And uh, we can't wait to get started to get out of this sort of post-election pause onto the road and speaking directly with communities, with individuals and uh, hearing about the issues that matter to everyday Australians and reminding them, reassuring them that we are here to represent their aspirations, their aspirations for their families and their futures. Has the party alienated women over the last few years? We have lost votes from women, and I've been very upfront in acknowledging that, but also uh, in recognising that there were a range of issues behind why women did not choose to vote for us at the last election. And it's important to understand them not as a whole, but to break it down. Part of the review that Jane Hume is doing, Senator Hume is doing about the last election, we'll look at that. Part of the conversations that we will all have as women, and it's it's not just the women in the shadow cabinet, but all of the amazing women in our parties and in our party organisations, the conversations we will have that will, you know, really, really talk one on one to women. And as I said, number one, reassure them that we're there for them, but also be honest, have honest conversations and listen to what they're telling us. So is that is that enough to win back the women vote, do you think, that was ignored by Scott Morrison? Well, Daniki, you're talking about the women's vote as if it's just one vote. Uh, it isn't necessarily. But as I said, it's important to have honest conversations, to acknowledge where we may not have represented women's issues strongly and to present our shadow cabinet and a new agenda as we develop it going forward. Now, this is a strong group of women that you've just described as numbering 10, but also others in the outer shadow ministry. And we are focusing on women and women's issues. We've got dedicated portfolios for uh, children and youth, for the prevention of family violence, for child protection. And, you know, that reiterates that it is not it is about the economic circumstances, of course it is, but it's also about protecting women when they need it and when they're at the most vulnerable.